Hi everyone. I'm a little bit early, but you know I like to do that. Um, my name is Cindy Ellers. I'm located in the central part of Wisconsin, and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Actually, I've been a uh, demonstrator for 10 years, been stamping for about 13 years, I would say. Hi, Linda. Thanks for joining me. You know how I am, don't you? I like to be a little bit early. So, um, oh, and while I get going, welcome to Cindy's Stamping Studio. I hope you had a great weekend and a great Monday, all things considered, right? I am happy to report I am caught up. I can go on vacation this weekend, starting this weekend, and I'm looking forward to that. So, I am so glad that um, I got all the Christmas card kits done. Hi, Courtney. And I'm just just feeling good about it all. You know, and my husband makes a joke and he says, well, like as if you wouldn't have gotten them done. Well, you know, there's always that possibility. I'm just finding myself here on my Kindle so I can see you all as you come on. And make sure you say hi to me because that way you're... Um, entered into my weekly door prize drawing and you're going to want to do that because I have some fun things that I give away. They're not big things, but they're kind of fun. And oh, Jan. Hi, Jan. The embossing folder arrived today. Yes, Jan promoted to silver. And as her upline, I sent her her choice of an embossing folder. See, that's how I am. I'm a really nice person like that. <laughs> I have to watch without sound right now because Eric is taking his nap. Oh. Oh, and Linda, you got your kit today. Well, you have another one on its way. It went out in today's mail. So, and my mom is watching. Well, that is wonderful. I am so happy to hear that. See, I tell you, I am getting organized more and more, but then that means a lot of time in the stamp room. So I'm ready for a, I'm ready for a break. That is for sure. I have so much stuff to show you tonight. Some fun things. I have a great card tonight. We'll be using the, uh, we'll be using the poinsettia petals with the matching coordinating dies. You're going to like that. And um, let's see, what else? Tomorrow night is our kit class. And um, for the people that didn't get the class to go, the cards for the kit class will be doing as a class tomorrow night. Luckily, I can still have it. I think it's because I have it in... The basement of a restaurant and we're still doing okay so hopefully that'll continue and um, then next week is our last Christmas card class the response has been just tremendous this year I have made so, I have cut so many Christmas cards it's just crazy And um, I've had, I've really enjoyed it. You know, you might think, oh man, that's just so much work, but, but it's not. It's a labor of love and I enjoy it so much. Hi, Bernie. I'll see Bernie tomorrow night. I can't wait. I have some great cards for you guys to make in the kit class and um, next week's the Christmas card class. So that's that. And I noticed the one person that usually is so fast to jump on today uh, on a Monday night. She isn't here. She actually is my winner tonight, but that's okay. She'll be here soon. I'm just sure of it. And okay, I want to go and flip my camera around so I can start showing you some of the cards that I have to show you. I have some neat things to show you. I think you're going to love it. So hold on. Okay, now you get to see how dark it is. That's the part I don't like. Okay, let me move. Hi, Kay. Thank you for joining us. There we go. 
Hi, Arliss. I just also wanted to mention that I still have my November host code going on. If you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would be honored if you would choose me to be your demonstrator. It would mean the world to me. And if you place an order, just look for Cindy Ellers, E-H-L-E-R-S, and um, enter this host code, and your name will be put in for another drawing, and that's worth $15. I always take everybody's name that has placed an order with me for the whole month, and then at the end of the month, I draw a name. So, okay. First thing I want to show you is our technique cards. This technique was so much fun. We make, for the technique card uh, class, we make two cards. And I don't know if you can see, oh yeah, you can see it. What it is, is using an embossing folder and designer series paper. Isn't that neat? I love how it turned out. And it just adds a little bit of wow, but look at how easy those cards are. All you do is you take a piece of designer series paper and run it through your embossing machine, and voila, you have these really great cards. And I usually go and... uh make the cards into an all occasion type cards. But yesterday I took a break from the Christmas cards and I made these into Christmas cards. And they turned out, well, let me see. I think I have them right here. They turned out so pretty. And so here's this one, you know, here it is as a birthday card because you know, you do have winter birthdays. But here it is as a Christmas card, and here's this card as a Christmas card. So it really, it turned out great. And if I would have been thinking, I would have offered this as a card for our Christmas card class. But that's too late now, but maybe next year. You never know. Okay. Then, of course, because we have, um, we do two technique cards. We, and then a fancy fold. Let me see. I have it right here. That's my blooper one. Here it was. It was a... I'm not... Nope, this was the blooper one. It opens like this. I'm not quite sure what it's called. But I thought it was so cute. It really is a great card. I sent Jan one of the kits that were left over along with her uh, embossing folder. So now she'll have something to do while her hubby is sleeping if she wants to, right? So that was the, t that was the fancy fold card. I always make two because when I make two, then if I make a mistake like this one, it's okay because I can tell my ladies, don't do it that way, do it this way. Right? Right. Anyway, that was class. And at technique class, uh, what our own Deb Vine gave me this. And what this is, is this stamp set. It's called, I don't know if you can see it. It's called Arrange a Wreath. And you know, when I looked at the end of catalog, I probably zipped right past this. Didn't even look at it. Well, this also has uh, coordinating dies, and it's called a wreath builder, right? Uh, I never even thought nothing of it. Well, Deb made some beautiful cards with that. And then she gave me this one and said, here, you can have this one. Well, guess what it is? It's a magnet on the back of a canning lid. I mean, isn't that the cutest? I just can't wait to use it. And I never even thought to use that, I, to use, to make something like that. But wouldn't this make, you know, like some really cute little Christmas gifts for your like mail person that delivers your mail or the UPS driver? I always give them a little something because 
Well, my UPS driver usually stops at my house almost weekly. And the mail lady, I thought, yeah, this was so great. So that was that. And then did you ever make a card? Oh, man, this card turned out so cute. I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. I got done. It was, uh, it was original. And I used the Warm and Toasty stamp set, which I have fallen in love with, which I had also told myself, no, you don't need that. Uh-huh. Great. But I loved it so much, I got it. And so today, for a swap, a virtual swap that I'm in, I made this card. Look at that. Isn't it so cute? It used the curvy dies. So it looks like they're going down the snowbank. And I popped this up, this part of the snowbank up with dimensions. So it's um, there. And then I, I colored these little bunnies going down and the little bear. I thought it was so cute. It was one of those, oh, I got to show my husband this, you know. It was, what do you think? So I thought, oh, man, I couldn't wait. I'm going to have it on my blog post tomorrow. But I couldn't wait to show you. So I thought, what the heck, I'm going to show you tonight. So there's that. Okay. I have my door prize winner. And she's not on tonight. I'm so sad. Um, she's going to win. I know she doesn't stamp, but she loves cards. She's going to win this beautiful assortment of all occasion cards that I plus with envelopes for just being such a she always says hi and I'm really surprised she's not on tonight. But anyway, my winner is Sally Becker. So Sally, you won yourself some one, two, five cards with matching envelopes. And I'll get that out in the mail to you tomorrow, probably. So you'll have it by the weekend. Okay. Now, we're going to be using, as I mentioned, man, I have a smudge on my glasses. That just drives me crazy. Anyway, we're going to be using the poinsettia petals. It's right there. Oh, before I get into that, I just wanted to mention the joy... Peace and Joy, Peace and Joy stamp set is our November stamp of the month. And it does have matching dies if you wanted to bundle that. When you join the stamp of the month, you get the stamp set and a four card kit with everything you need to make four cards with your new stamp set. The card bases, the layers, the envelopes, the embellishments, and directions with color pictures of the cards. So if this is something you're interested in, just the stamp set with the four card kit, it's $24. If you want to bundle it, it's $45 plus stamping up sales tax and shipping and handling. And I will give you the four cards kit for free. So if this is something you're interested in, Send me a message, and I'll be in touch. Okay, back to tonight's card. We're going to use the poinsettia petals with the dies and the plush poinsettia specialty paper. This card turned out so pretty that I had to make more. I, I had to, it just was a nice and simple and pretty the, let's see, the designer series paper that we're using is called Heartwarming Hugs. I mean, hugs. I should have had my, oh, I wonder where that, oh, right here, page nine. It turned out so pretty that I had to make another one, and it's this paper with this paper. Mm hmm So. Yes. Now we will get started. Here's our packet. We're going to be using a shaded spruce, a shaded spruce card base. 
um, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Okay. And then we will use for our layer, it's going to be the heartwarming hugs right here. And if we wanted to, we could use green. I never thought about using green. We're going to use the red just to make it Christmassy. I always put a piece of Whisper White on the inside and we're going to use the plush uh, poinsettia paper. Now that paper is, there's three designs. That paper has the holly, just a second, I want to, oh, here it is. You have your choice of this and the holly paper and the poinsettia paper. Tonight I'm going to use this paper. Um, and they're 12 by 12 sheets. And as you can tell, this is all I have left from two packages. It's been very popular. It's so pretty, right? Okay. We're going to use... The Poinsettia Petals stamp set. And I am getting myself all set up with the Shaded Spruce and the Real Red ink. So it's going to be our traditional colors using Poinsettia Petals and the Poinsettia dyes. Okay. To make a to make a flower, there are, I mean, this is a big set of dies. There are, let's see, 18. And what I did was, because you have a die that just cuts out the flower. If you want to stamp it and just cut the flower out, or if you want to go and just run it through your die, uh, and die cutting and embossing machine, it will put the texture of the flowers in. Now to get them lined up, I use washi tape and it works, it works really good. So we're going to use this one and this one and this one, three, and then one for the center. We're also going to use that one for the center of the flower. What's really nice is we can cut out a sprig. I mean, if we wanted to stamp the sprig, we could, or we could just cut out the sprig. We're gonna just cut out the sprig and the leaves. We have the same thing going on. We could cut out just the leaves or cut out and emboss. They give you two of them so that you can cut them, you know, so it doesn't take so long. You can cut them out at the same time, which is really pretty cool. Okay, and you know me, I've already done this. So I have it sitting right here. I want to put this away, so heaven forbid I don't lose it. Oh, let's see. I think that goes there. This will go here. It's funny how you never can quite get them back the way they're supposed to. You have one extra. We'll just make room for it right there. I'm not quite sure where it goes. Okay. Hi, Kathy Bros. Thanks for joining me. Okay. Whoops. Better not forget this little guy. Put him right there. I put my dies on a magnet as I have lost them more times than I can tell you. And if I don't close this up right away, you know what could happen. So we'll put that right there. Okay, let's see. I will need my red. And like I said, I've already cut out the flowers, so it won't take us so long, whoops. And a gold sprig. Here's our flower. And here's the inside of our flower. Here's the little um we're gonna we're gonna stamp on this. 
I'm going to need my mini glue dots. And my red ink. Here is what I did with the leaves. I not only stamped the leaves, but I... I can show you what I did. I took a piece of shaded spruce and took a piece of shaded spruce and stamped stamped my leaf. There there it is. And I I did it twice. I'll give it lots of room. Okay. And then because these are photopolymer, I'm going to put these right here. And I took this little, it's the center of the leaf. Ink that up. It didn't turn out as nice as the first one. Now I think I inked a at, there. That one's much better. I just wanted some subtle shading. Hi, Sally. She made it. Yay! You. I am glad you made it because. Just a second. I have to get myself set up so I don't get lost. I'll take this out of here. Don't want to have anything on the bottom. Sally, right here. Guess what, Sally? You were the winner of my door prize. And as because we know you don't stamp, I am going to send you these five cards with envelopes. And I will get them out in the mail to you. Hopefully tomorrow. So, congratulations. You won the door prize. Okay, now back to stamping. Right? I am going to go and ink up my Merry Christmas. Right there. Okay, we have that there. Pretty much all of, we have a little bit more, um, we have a pretty much, um, not a lot of uh, stamping to do. But what I did was I got my sponge dabber and I went and, you won't be able to see it, but it really just, it does in person. It really added something to the cards. You're welcome, Sally. I was real happy to draw your name. I know it's, you enjoy the cards. And, okay. We're just gonna put a little bit of ink on these. It's not necessary to try to get down in there because, as you'll see in a little bit, I'll put that over there, it does get covered, the centers get covered up. Okay. And I am going to ink up the center. Of that card. Then I'll take my bone folder and curl the leaves. Don't curl them too much. You don't want to break them. Right? This is such a very elegant stamp set. It's And it really isn't that bad. You're only working with three um, flowers. Okay. 
And let's see. Oh, my mini glue dots. I'm going to go and... I'm going... I thought I had dim some dimensions in there. Apparently I don't. I'm going to take my picket tool and I'm going to cover up my real red because I can just see what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my picket tool and grab a glue dot. It really, it really makes it quite easy and put it right in the middle of my poinsettia. I'm going to do that with all three of the bigger ones. Like that. One more for this one. And one for the center. Whoops, it didn't stay. One for the gold piece. And one more in the center here. Ah, there, it's all going, it's going good. Okay, so we're going to take our medium-sized one and just angle our flowers like that. We're going to angle the next size and we'll start. We're going to go in. Oh, I guess I didn't have to put it on the gold, did I? Oh, well. Angle it one more time. There. Now we have our poinsettia all made. Now that wasn't very hard, right? Okay. We're going to go and put a glue dot. Hi, Jeannie Mullen. Thanks for joining me. I'm making a beautiful Christmas card tonight. Put our holly leaf, or poinsettia leaf, I guess you call it. I'm not sure. And let's put the other one right here. Like that. Our poinsettia is done. Now we got to add our sprig. And I want to put him right about there. We'll go and add a little piece of tape and go and add a little piece of tape. Tape this little guy down. There. Very pretty. Okay, we're done with that part. And I'll put that there. I'm done with that. I want to go and we'll do the inside in just a little bit. Let's start assembling our outside one. Like I said, this is our layer from the heartwarming hugs. We're going to go There we go. Okay. Now we're going to go and add our plush paper, our poinsettia plush, plush poinsettia. We're going to put that right there. Now there's a little trick. I am not, you're going to notice, I will not go and just put glue on this. No. I am going to put little drops of glue wherever the plush is. Now, it might seem like it takes a little bit of time to do this, but believe me, you will be glad that you took the time. 
to do this because it won't show through. If I would have just made a line like I do designer series paper, it would um, it would have showed through. And I know that from experience. It don't take that long, really. But if you just go and add the, the glue, where the design is, it won't show through. And people will think, oh my gosh, how'd they do that? Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you. This uh, Facebook Live is number 40. I've been doing this since the beginning of the year. This one is number 40. I'm so happy about that. Also want to point out, if you don't have time to watch it tonight, you can catch it on my blog on Thursday as I do a repeat of that. Okay, get it straight. Oh, goodness. There. As I do a repeat. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay. I thought I had... Aha! I knew I had dimensions. Hold on. Let me get them. They fell on the... Lord, went flying out. Okay, now I am going to go and put my flower right there. Yes, this is going to be so pretty. I just, oh. I'm going to use a whole dimension today. And we're going to put that right here. Right like that. We're going to take our Merry Christmas and let's put our dimensions on there. And okay. We get the backs taken out, then we'll do the inside. And then we're going to have another beautiful Christmas card. I want to tuck it under like this. Make sure it's straight like that. There. So this is the outside of our card. Let's do the inside okay we are going to go we're going to use shaded spruce I have it right here and where are my words oh right in front of me oh <laughs> yeah already we're gonna use may matte May the magic and wonder bloom this holiday. Let me ink that up and you can see it. There, that's the inside. Okay, now we need to decorate it because you know I always decorate my cards on the inside as well. And you could even decorate the envelope. That is always a great thing to do. Um, oh yeah, this outline of a poinsettia, we're going to use that and I'm just going to put it right there, just like that. And like I said, you should go and decorate your envelope. Like that. 
So there, now I have a card already, almost already. Not quite. We have to finish it. So, okay, now my, it looks like my Kindle. Has. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, make sure you leave me a message. Get in on the door prize for next week. And, oh, don't be afraid to hit the like key, the love key, share my video with your friends. I would love to see them join us next Monday when we'll have another card. And there's our card. Isn't it pretty? With a matching envelope tonight. Just like that. It turned out so pretty. I just love it. And like I said, I would love it if you would share my video. I'd like to see more people tune in. Um, I, I know 530 isn't the most ideal time, um, but it seems like it's been working pretty good. I just, I just want to thank each and every one of you that tune in. I've been very happy with the results. I've gotten pretty good at talking to myself. Um, the puppies have gotten pretty good with being quiet. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you. Okay, so this is our card tonight. Here is a couple of variations of that of this card, only with a white poinsettia, and I used gray granite to stamp the flower petals. Hi, Debbie Vine. Debbie was the one that made our very cute wreath that I showed you at the beginning. And here's the other like the flower inside and on the envelope. That's, I do too. Okay, I think it turned out great. This was the first one I made. I see that my, I used all the mentions and I see that it's kind of shifted. I might have to work on that and um, get it back where it's supposed to be. But here's a couple of variations that you could use. This uses the poinsettia paper and this is the poinsettia plush. But this was tonight's card, which I think turned out wonderful. And again, thank you so much for joining me. A 30 minute class, that's all we usually do. And that's just right on the money here. Um, please go back and watch the rest of it. If you tuned in late, I appreciate you all for, for um, stamping with me tonight and have a great rest of the week and happy stamping. Thanks so much.